Hey everyone. Hey guys, we're back once again for another weekly installment of Remember When. That Step was a nostalgia. very, very pixelated picture at the start. Uh, this is 2001, so you know, graphics are graphics. I think uh, you may have distorted that. What? Because this uh, is well, you know. <laughs> whatevs, whatevs. Yeah, whatevs. You get the idea. Uh, this is the tutorial level. As soon as you install it, you have to go through this. It won't let you just play it. That motherfucker walked stupid. through the gate. Or through the fence. Uh, he didn't give two this, shits. In this game, there are, like, animal takers, and then there's maintenance, and blah, blah, blah. So some guys can go inside the fence. Oh, some guy. Well, no, I was talking about the one that went and sit, sat down in the, the, like, food area at one of the oh. picnic tables. Oh, well, it's Jesus. He was walking right. in the fence all of a sudden, he's phased through. <laughs> there's uh, tutorials and scenarios you can do for certain stuff. Then there's just free roam like I'm doing here. As you can see, there's a lot of different maps. Yeah, there is. There's an ocean, a valley, it's neat. basic grass. That's what I went with. You can start however much money you want. Of course, I'm you take as much as possible. So I go as much as possible, yes. <laughs> yes, I'm a greedy little bastard. Alright, so this game is a business strategy game. Uh, you gotta build your own zoo. You can set prices and all sorts of shit. There was a list of all the animals you can get right off the start. You can do research and get more animals as you go. This is the first game in the series. There's actually like... Boy, there's a lot of games. Probably seven in the series. If you count expansion oh, packs really? and all that. Mm -hmm. There's a Just dinosaur expansion, a marine expansion. Uh, oh, two, nice. Three and f the latest one's actually coming out on the 22nd of November. No, this is an expansion or a new game? This is a new game. This is actually Zoo Tycoon 4. Anyway, in this game you make fenced areas, then you have to make it suitable for the animal you're putting in it. Here, oh, I believe okay. I'm putting lions in or something like that, so I'm putting a lot of savannah grass and... You know, no, that makes like sense that. since you named it lions. Uh, I didn't even realize that. I didn't know. <laughs> so uh, the green smiley faces mean they're happy with it. The red ones mean they don't like it. Night, <laughs> what? Do you see the little red smiley faces pop up above their heads when you do something? It means they didn't like your decision. I didn't but even see two, that. Just like that? Yeah. So there's too many lines. So you get rid of a line, uh, they're happier. Okay. Uh, you have to add trees and rocks and shit to make them happy. They're a pain in the ass. They're really picky. Trees, rocks, animals. make them fresh water. Yep, I'll be putting that in. And you can see the guys starting to enter the zoo now. Uh, you can actually control how much it costs to enter your zoo. I think the fault's like $23 or something like that just to get in the door. Oh, that's a pretty expensive amount just to... Mm, yeah. You can raise it, you zoo. can lower it, whatever. That's what I like about this game. You can like regulate the uh, commodity prices. Like, you'll have hot dog stands and restrooms and shit. You can actually make them pay to go to the restroom. <clears throat> See, I was never good at the tycoon games because it was too much involvement. There's a lot of involvement, which is fun. I mean, I like it. It's fun, You can fun, do whatever the hell you want. But I'll get zoned into one area and then the other area will suffer. And Yeah. I like it when you have a lot of money. I mean, yeah. well, I mean once you get so high, if you aren't turning revenue, you aren't going to do shit. I don't like sitting around waiting for the money to come in to actually keep building. It's kind of like playing Minecraft, actually. I don't want to sit and look for resources. I just want to build shit. <laughs> That's why you're always playing creative, right? Hell yeah, it's more fun. Then you just build whatever the hell you want, no issues. You lose this sense of accomplishment, though. It's like, it's I really. did this I mean, myself. I do. You, you went through all the hassle of building it without all the hassle of gathering the materials. What hassles building? Well, you know, all the achievement of building it. Oh, okay. Now as you see there, I'm actually picked on a lion, and then I ask the dude what makes it happy, and it tells you what yeah. the wants. Dude, lions are picky. Dude, all the friggin' animals are picky. Jeez, that's ridiculous. To start out, you had like zebras, antelopes, and uh, lions, and. Can you put two different types of like animals that. in a, the same pen? Uh, that's later on in the video, but yes, yeah, certain animals you can, such as the zebras and the antelope. Oh, I would prefer put, like, to be zebras and lions in the same pen. Watch them duke it out. You you can, but it doesn't end well. <laughs> oh, do you do that at all? Uh, I do something like that later on, but 
not until like almost the end because I let that as a finisher because once you do that the population doesn't exactly like to see that <laughs> so then their uh, happiness with your zoo goes way down alright well I'm just gonna wait I'm just gonna be silent till the end and uh, <laughs> I don't know won't be silent get, that long get ready uh, to freak out at the very you can see end. The, the three uh, green bars at the bottom that's the happiness meters quote unquote Okay. The left one is the uh, people's interest in the park. The middle one's the animal happiness, and the last one's your employee happiness. You your animals are quite either. happy. Uh, so far, yes. I didn't feed one to the other yet either. So, so as you can see right there with all the animals, there's like moose and grizzly bears and monkeys and tigers. Who would want to go see a moose? I would. I'd see a moose. Why? I don't know. I'd like to go hunting moose someday. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I want to go to a a uh, zoo to see a moose, though. I mean, I'd see it. Why not? I'm there. Might as well check out all the yeah. animals. Uh, rather unprofessional. It's like Look trying out all the <laughs> nice. It's like trying out all the hot, uh, spicy food at the uh. Oh, how old was it? Farm show. What about With Wilmer. <laughs> oh, yeah, try it out. Freaking Baney, man. He fucking wrecked him. <laughs> yeah. He was all sweaty. As you can see, as you progress and people like your thing, you get more animals and you can research certain animals. Like now you have a goat and black bear and Siberian tiger. Oh, and nice. And I want a goat. There's a penguin. I'm goat you. And a uh, crocodile. Corner. Here I built a crocodile pit yet. You can spend hours on this. Absolutely hours. I don't spend that long. <laughs> I had crap to do. Well, we all know you have a short attention span anyway. That too. I mean, I couldn't do like all the animals in one shot. It'd take forever. <laughs> but that's like two. And like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. And I'm sitting here playing with animals. That's a tiny pen. Uh, that's actually a shovel. <laughs> huh? No, no, Oh, no, you mean like pen. Like okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. Yeah. Uh, this the is a precursor to all the expansion. In the, like, Zoo Tycoon 2, which I have laying around here somewhere, you can actually interact with the animals. You can go into, like, a first-person, like, thing, and you oh, can be, nice. like, a zookeeper. You can go shovel poo or heal the sick animals or whatever. Like, that's what I want to do with my gaming experience. <laughs> I want to uh, go shovel some poo. Hey, you know, whatever. I'm not here to judge. Also, if you have the animals long enough and they're happy, they'll kick out little animals. You know, you can learn the, bir the birds and the bees in this game as well. Ah. So how would... They don't... So, am I missing something, or your rep reptile exhibit costs 950 bucks, but a vending machine costs 50 Uh, yes. <laughs> am I, I missing anything here, or just... Uh, capitalism, man. Capital, capitalism. Uh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> See there, I just did some research. It popped up. It was, uh, a re uh, gorilla is now researched. I can make a gorilla exhibit if I wanted. You actually pick on the yeah. people, too, and they'll tell you what they like and what they didn't like. And Oh, nice. There, I'm being really greedy. I'm jacking all the prices up. Oh, well, of course. You also think the place look nice with, do. like, meaningless shit. Like this little lion statue. Yeah. Just meaningless shit. <laughs> Makes it look nice. Uh, this fountain's just trash cans. You need trash cans and they'll just throw the shit on the ground and make it look all trashy. The lines are and, escaping. Yep, this is something you can do too, which I always find amusing. You can let out the predators and they'll run around and attack people. But it really kills your happiness meter with the public. See, as it just plummeted. Well, no shit! I like it. You see, he picks it up and he swings them around. <laughs> Throws them up the air. Then I clicked on them just for that. Ouch, I've been attacked by Lion 3. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, total badass just walks it off. Eventually they capture him in these little crate things. And you can pick him yeah. up and throw him back in. Here I thought they were all caught. There's one running around on top of the screen there yet. <laughs> yeah, I see it. You don't give a shit. Oh, they just threw <laughs> another person. Oh, uh, yeah, he's, he's kicking ass for a while yet. I didn't even notice him until he starts running back down. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know he was out. <laughs> He's still just whooping people's asses. Yeah. You can see it you, in the red you, now for the happiness meeting. 
damage meter. You're going about doing your shit. And See, there you could lower admission prices to make it, make them happier at it. $22 to enter a zoo. Holy shit. There's all your statistics. You can use. There I noticed the fucking lion's finally running around. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be a good, good idea to lower your admission price for the... Yep, there you got another guy. Oh, there's another one glitched out. Yep. Uh, should be only one there. Oh, he disappeared. Yep, they finally got him. Nah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> only killed like 30 people. No big deal. It's a lot more fun in the dinosaur expansion because then you can just let them out and fucking T-Rex running around all the time. Oh, you didn't, you didn't mix species. Nah, no, I don't have the expansions on me at the moment, but. <sighs> They're all good games. You, if you're a fan of The Sims or simulation games, it's a good one to pick up. I play a lot of different tycoons. Never Zoo. But uh, well, you should. It's it's interesting. It'll waste some time. <laughs> it seems it. That's what all tycoons are, though, right? Yeah. Make you feel good. <laughs> all right, guys. Yep. That's all for this week. Check in next week for another Remember When. And feel free oh, to yeah. check out our other videos for other amusement. And remember Later, to guys. like and subscribe. Later.